Hi, everybody. Darren Lynch, founder and CEO of Irish Titan. I'm here for another Ecom Forum whiskey shot. Uh, today, we have one of my longest tenured e commerce, I would actually call Eric a friend. Um, we have been in this world for a long time and share a lot of uh, a lot of common interests that we'll probably inject even if we try not to. I don't think we can stop ourselves. So with that, Eric, welcome to our, our whiskey shot. Thanks for being part of it. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. Why don't you introduce yourself and talk a little bit about uh, what you're doing with the tenant and what a attentive does? Sure. So uh, Eric Feuerstein, based in the Chicago suburbs, uh, director of alliances with Attentive. Um, so I work with a lot of our strategic partners, both agencies and SIs, but also technology platforms, um, really to reach out and help merchants create new channels of revenue. So generally, you know, through SMS and all the work we're doing around SMS, we're creating a top three channel uh, for most of our merchants, and we're driving over 20% of their total online revenue. And that generally is happening within you know, the first few months of them being on the platform. So it's very fast moving, um, you know, sort of, you know, quick uptick in growing out their, their SMS channel with us. Right. Um, so as I alluded to, Eric and I have known each other for a long time, 10, 12 years, maybe something like that. Um, and so we've become friends over that time. And one of the things, let's get, let's cut to the most important thing, music, right? Um, and so over your shoulder are a few figures. I know three of the five, but oh. why don't you, for the benefit of the audience, share who those are? Oh boy, of course. So one of them is Lemmy, the bass player and singer from Motorhead. Um, one you would clearly know is Gene Simmons from Kiss, because I don't know if there's anyone that's as much of a Kiss fanatic as you are. Um, next one looks like Angus from ACDC. And then the one on my, what would look like the far left, uh, is the singer from the band Ghost. Yep. Um, Angus is actually the one I couldn't quite make out. Now I see ah, it. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Now I see the Gibson um, when I look for it, a little bit small. <laughs> the infamous um, Gibson SG, I think is what he uses, right. right? So, yeah. Right. As Eric alluded to, I'm a bit of a Kiss fan. I've seen them 35 times, but the first step in solving a problem is admitting you have one, right? <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that we broke the ice on that, let's let's talk e-commerce a little bit. As Eric mentioned, Attentive is in the SMS mobile marketing, just to broadly, uh, very generically describe it. That is somewhere between bleeding edge and leading edge, right? Like that, that's very early in the e-commerce space. It's one of the reasons you guys um, have a lot of momentum, are great to work with, because you're early to this market that I think has a lot of upside. Um, and so it's been fun to, to work with you guys and, and, and see all the, the market share and momentum you've built. Uh, one of the things that's impacting that uh, is uh, recent iOS updates, right? So these iOS 15, I'm looking at my notes here to make sure I'm referencing the right numbers. The iOS 15 marketing changes seem to be positively impacting uh, mobile commerce and SMS marketing. So what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's a mess. I, you know, it's, it would be hard to be a marketer right now. I can't even imagine uh, just the tumultuous nature of that of that landscape because it's getting. I mean, it's getting virtually impossible to reach the customers because of all the stuff that's changing, right? I mean, not only the things like um, you know, email is is sort of becoming, you know, less effective. I think it's like a one point one percent open rate at this point, but. You know, just, just everything's getting harder. And now you have these tech companies like Apple, for instance, um, who are really making it incredibly difficult because even with, uh, I think it was iOS 14.5 and then iOS 15, really it's changed, it changed a lot of the visibility or now I should say lack of visibility that marketers even have into things like email marketing metrics, um, you know, the way that brands can use, uh, you know, so, uh, social you know, um, Apple even, it's funny, Apple even sort of um, tells their users to set up fake email addresses, right? I think the, I think when you, when you're in yeah. iOS, there's a thing called hide my email, right? And yep. it's really telling customers to set up these burner email addresses, you know, so that you can sign up for stuff and 
and it'll go totally unseen. You'll never look at those emails. So it's just, it's the, it's the way the war, it's, it's really all the cards that are being stacked against um, all of the, the marketers today. And that, those are the things that, that we cure. Those are the things that, you know, that, that we help them with because we're sort of that path around all of that. Right. Yeah, that hide my email address, if you're not mentally prepared for that, the first time you see it, I thought I'd been hacked because then a different <laughs> email shows up. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not my email. Um, yeah. And yeah, so I yeah. started over and then I paid more attention and, and, and noticed it. Um, so attentive and SMS marketing, how, how does that circumvent that, right? Like what are some of the best practices, some of the metrics you're seeing? I know it's a big question, but um, I think one of the reasons you have a lot of momentum is because there's so much su success that you're seeing. Yeah. I mean, to put it in perspective, like we went from probably a thousand merchants to 4,500 merchants in almost no time. Right. Um, and I think it's because so many people were becoming disenfranchised with how they were connecting with customers or again, their inability to connect with customers. Mobile has been booming and COVID just completely exacerbated that. Right. So tons of um, tons of brands. Well, I wouldn't say tons. A lot of brands were kind of ready for that, but a lot of brands just weren't even ready. They're sort of on their back, you know, their back foot and trying to figure out how are we going to leverage mobile now because all these other channels aren't really working. So because SMS is so personal, unlike email, who everyone, you know, everyone's become immune to email. Right. SMS is super personal. If I get a text message, I'm looking at it usually within a couple seconds, worst case, a couple minutes. How many emails do you have in your, in your you know, inbox unread? I don't know, a thousand how many SMSs do you have? Maybe none. I don't know. Right, right. So, so I think that that's how we sort of circumvent all. Is we we are a personal channel. The the subscriber has initiated the desire to receive an email or sorry a text from a brand. Right. It's so it's different because the the customer is saying I am subscribing. I want to hear from this brand, and that that's a big differentiator. And then us being able to deliver those messages the right message, the right time to the right customer. It's all of the, it's a sum of those parts that make SMS just so much more effective. And are you seeing sort of a first mover advantage amongst your merchants? The ones who are jumping in, uh, leaning into it, are they outpacing their competitors noticeably? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I think it's really, and I may have alluded to this at Ecom Forum, it's really a race to own that SMS inbox. That's what we see. Like that is that is where it's gonna be at. And there's a lot of uh, merchants who are doing that really, really well today, but there's a ton that haven't even scratched the surface. We talk to people who are net new to SMS all the time. Um, I mean, if you look at like even uh, the IR1000, I think last stat I saw was about half were using SMS to some degree but of the half that we're using it, we own about 80% of that business. So wow. we, we're already you know, deeply entrenched in, you know, across all those brands. But that tells me that half of the IR1000 still haven't even started, right? right. It's just Greenfield. Um, and because we can make such a quick impact out of the gates, they see that ROI like so fast. And it just, it, it, it lets them you know, know straight away that they made the right decision. This is how their customers want to be connected with. They're meeting them at that place that their customers are, which is on their phone. It's not in their email inbox. Yeah, um, a race to own the SMS inbox. That's a, that's a good summary, good catchphrase. So um, we like to keep these whiskey shots short, like most Kiss songs, like most- Is, is there whiskey? But is there whiskey that happens at there, some point? There, there, there is no whiskey that has happened yet. It's okay, on my fine. shelf over there, which you can't see. Just, uh, just I, I, I need to quit recording these in the morning. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's move into your encore, your rock and roll night or ace of spades. Let's let's uh, leave the, the audience with a with a takeaway. What, what, what would you like to share? You know, I would probably, I guess, I guess, you know, when I think about sort of the landscape right now. I would say in the next couple of years, you know, from Attentive's viewpoint, we think in probably the next three years, um, every B2C brand will be absolutely expected to connect with their customers over SMS because that's what the customers want, right? SMS is going to be sort of that center of how brands will communicate with their customers. So if you're not there today, which you're probably not, it's okay, right? But But just know that 
that runway is getting exceptionally short and it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a very fast moving uh, process to lots of brands that may be competitors to you or to other brands, you know, hopping on SMS. Our influx of new clients, as I said, is staggering because they realize that this is the way the world has shifted. This this is how the customers, you know, want to be connected to. So just know that you, there's time, right? We, even with all these things that are happening that are sort of stacking the deck against you as a, as a marketer, it's okay. Like we can still turn things around quickly, but just, you know, have that on your mind that your competitors are, are already doing it or within the next couple of years, that will be the center of sort of almost like the center of their CRM, so to speak. Right. You know? I think that's a good summary of that, that, uh, suspicion I had that you're moving from bleeding edge to leading edge still early, but that yeah. window's closing. Yeah. I, I almost don't even think of it as bleeding edge anymore because right. it's become so common with so many brands that we're working with now. And like I said, I think we've scratched the surface, but you know, we have a ton of success behind us that make it easier for all the new entrants to say, okay, here's all these brands that are you know, sort of competitors in my space to what I may sell, they're having great success with SMS through Attentive. And that just proves it out for me as a new brand wanting to jump in. So just know it, it's not really bleeding edge, but luckily this is such a great you know, path to success leading up to this point that um, it's a great time for brands to jump in and we hold their hand the whole way. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for being part of Ecom Forum last fall, Eric. We're looking forward to working with Attentive going forward. Thanks for all the e-commerce friendship and banter over the years, much appreciated. Thanks for always turning me on to new music. <laughs> yeah, and, and likewise. Like I think there we both go. doubled each other's collection. Pretty um, much. So, so with that, we'll say goodbye to Eric and Papa Emeritus, uh, Angus, Gene, and Lemmy. So uh, goodbye to the, awesome. the, the, the band up there. Thanks again, Eric. Uh, Slancha, everybody. There'll be more whiskey shots coming in the future. <laughs>